Well, with the recent assaults and scary encounters that we've been hearing about, we want to make sure that everyone is prepared in potentially dangerous situations. Here to give us advice and tips, we have Keanu Pasqua and the rest of the team from the Helsin Gracie Jiu Jitsu team. Good morning. Good morning. And thank you all for coming with us for today. We're going to be getting some demonstrations in just a little bit. But I wanted to know when you are in a dangerous situation, mm -hmm. at what point should you determine if you should fight back or if you should run away? Oh, Anytime you're put in a dangerous situation, it's always better, best to stand your ground there and uh, try and fight back there instead of being abducted or taken to an unknown place and trying to deal with it there. Okay, so I could I'd imagine though, if it is possible to get away from the dangerous mm -hmm. situation, then you should. Yeah. The better, the sooner the better. But if you don't have a choice, if someone does come at you, what are some tips or what are some things that people should know to do? Okay, so we just want to uh, sh show you guys three uh, common techniques that women would use in a self defense situation. Okay. Um, we're going to first start with uh, wrist releases. Um, when a bad guy comes up to a woman and grabs, grabs their wrist, tries to pull them to a destination, she's going to first drop her base and then go for it. Right? So let's go over it again. The bad guy grabs you, she tries to pull. First thing she does is drop her weight, drop it right into base. And then from right there, she meets her elbow to the bad guy's elbow as if she's answering her phone, and then she backs away. Because that makes it harder for him to hang on mm -hmm. when his wrist got twisted. Yeah, so right okay. here, when she meets her elbow to mine, the mechanics of right. my hand doesn't allow me to hold her wrist anymore. It's very uncomfortable for me, right? Okay. Yeah. So that's our first technique. The second technique is when somebody goes up to you and tries to grab you by the throat or the hair, right? You just, boom, she drops into base, grabs. Okay, same thing with the hair. She grabs the wrist. Goes. Interesting. And I feel like for a lot of people, when you are put into that situation, if someone were to grab your neck mm -hmm. or grab your hair, the first thing you would do is try to just kind of grab them. Yeah. But she did a little turn away. Yeah, yeah. She, so she's, she secures the wrist. But with her two hands. Okay. And then she steps then big back step back. with her back leg and then cuts me off with this step. Oh, okay. And then she just goes for the break on the arm. Okay, so that's totally opposite of what you would think. Instead of attacking forward, just pull away mm -hmm. to get out of the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. And then lastly, we have uh, ground technique. If somebody gets you to the ground and is able to uh, sit on you, which is what we call <laughs> the, the mount, and they go to attack your neck, she's just going to trap his arm. Trap his foot and bridge up and over. Take the top and then she's out. Okay. Can you do? I know. Sorry. I know that yeah, was a complex course, move. Of course, of course. Can you do that one more time? So you lifted up your hips. <clears throat> yeah. So all she's doing, the first thing she does is, bad guy's grabbing her neck. Oh. She's gonna secure his wrist and arm so that he's stuck. He can't pull his arm back. And then she's gonna trap the uh, foot. Oh, and bridge up right and over. back there. Okay, yep. interesting. So that was kind of the hold where you yeah. grab on with the so foot. So she has this whole right side trap. Gotcha. So he can't post out. And when she goes up and over, and there now yeah. she's able to stand up and get away. Okay, safety, perfect. Yes. All right, so when you're in a situation like this, I, I mean, people, I feel like you can never really prepare yourself completely yeah. once you're actually in there. but or in a, that potential situation, but there are things you can do to mm -hmm. help get prepared. Exactly. So if we did want, if someone did want to come to a self-defense class, learn more, where mm -hmm. can we find you guys? Yeah, of course, um, we are holding another women's self-defense program soon, um, and you can check that out, all the details for that on the website. Um, Okay, make sure you head on out. That's going to be at 1712 South King Street on the second floor. We'll have all the details on our website as well and get you over to them so you can find out how you can be involved. But these are important tips to learn, not just for women, but also mm -hmm. for men as well. Exactly. Uh, do you guys do classes for them too? We do. We do. Okay. All men, men, women, and children. Okay. Um, yeah. And again, it's an important skill to know because even at a young age, I think the earlier you learn it, the better. Mm -hmm. So definitely if you yes. can get your keiki exactly. involved as well. Because again, not all of these are common sense, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of it's kind mm -hmm. of counterintuitive exactly. for what you would do too. So it's a perfect place to learn from professionals. It's a lot of training, muscle memory, and, and yeah, a lot of practice. Yeah, and I'm sure in a situation like that, muscle memory would mm -hmm. really help mm -hmm. to kick in. You have no time to think in, in those situations. You have to just react.
Exactly. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning thank and you. showing us how to react. And again, if you would like to get involved with some of their self defense classes, we'll have all the details on our website, k22.com. But thank you so much for thank joining you. us this morning. And then also thank you to everyone else for demonstrating all of the great moves as well. I got to get my practice on, especially that last one. That one looked pretty intense. All right. No, I don't know about right now. I got my dress on. Later, later. All right. Well, thank you again so much thank for you. joining us.